Hey everybody, my name is Stephanie Marie and I am a first year medical student at an osteopathic medical school in the US. And I officially finished my first year of medical school. So I wanted to come on to YouTube and um, pretty much just introduce myself to this channel here. I've had it for a few years, but I haven't really been active. So I wanted to create it into a I guess medical school pre-med help channel uh, lifestyle plus fashion you know incorporating all of my passions so in this video today I am going to share with you my tips on how I survived my first year of medical school and I said survive um, we wanted to thrive however it was definitely um, a steep learning curve and that's my washer in the back um, so let's just get into the video and let's get started. I have my notes here in front of me, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. First things first, I wanna say that it's hard. Um, not necessarily about the content. Um, the content isn't always difficult, um, but the pace is, I wanna say, insane. Um, my school specifically had two exams every week and um, in our group chat that we have, uh, one of the students said that we had 96 exams, and that's including practicals, uh, lecture exams, 96 exams. I'm not sure how I'm still talking right now. I had one this morning that was 74 questions. Um, but you really are drinking water from a fire hose. Um, that saying is, it still applies. Um, if you've heard that across like other YouTube channels, um, it's true because my PowerPoint slides may be averaged 45, 50 slides, sometimes 70. Um, and we had about like seven or eight of those on an exam, maybe 10. The one that we had this morning had 15 lectures on it. Your exams are definitely going to be very in depth. Um, some schools have cumulative exams like a, a midterm and a final, but my school we had different exams uh, each week, two exams each week. So um, we had lectures from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. every day with uh, anatomy lab sprinkled in and OMM sprinkled in. Um, so OMM lab is basically osteopathic, osteopathic and treatment. I had to figure out time management. I was decent at this in undergrad I went to the University of Central Florida and graduated with a bachelor's in health sciences, preclinical, so go Knights. Um, but it was definitely, um, I don't know, I felt like college was a breeze minus like organic chem and calculus, which I didn't need since I switched my major from biology to health sciences. Um, so I don't know, it felt like I kept a good GPA in undergrad, um, but coming into medical school, I had no idea where to start. <laughs> so time management was definitely something I had to work on. Um, it's so easy to get distracted with the phone, so I started using Do Not Disturb um, on the iPhone, um, and Netflix was calling my name, TikTok was calling my name, all of them. So I definitely tried to set a time set aside time to do that closer to bedtime um, and I definitely reserve time for what was important to me. I enjoy reading on reading finance books, um, self-help, um, and I recently just got a novel so I'm trying to get back into novels but um, my what I'm trying to say is make time for what's important to you. Uh, I also made time for my significant other and um, talking to my family at least like once or twice a day. Um, so that was something that really kept me, um, kept me sane, kept me going. Okay, so med school is separated into blocks and it's not like a semester. It's very similar to a semester, but it lasts a little bit longer, I think. <laughs> no, maybe about the same, 10 to 11 weeks. I think undergrad was about 12 weeks a semester. Um, but we have two blocks in one semester. So one semester is technically 20 weeks. Wow, okay. 
So I was in school from July 19th up until today, which is June 24th, 2022. 2021 to 2022. So that is a full school year. Um, between blocks one and two, I had a week long break. Uh, and between blocks two and three, I also had a week long break. And then between blocks three and four, we had, I think it was like three weeks. And so now I'm officially off for summer vacation. Woohoo! <laughs> Made it. Um, so summer vacation is only three weeks at my specific school. It was pretty easy to get burnt out if I wasn't resting. And that's my next topic. I'd say rest is so important. I was a person who prioritized my sleep. I know classmates who got an hour of sleep before an exam, maybe 30 minutes, and knowing myself, I am miserable on less than five hours. So I made a conscious effort before an exam. Pretty much every week, I would average about five to seven hours on a good day. Um, so I think last night I got maybe five hours. I was so excited to just be done with school. So I had a hard time falling asleep with coffee, you know, all of that. So, um, but I try to average about like five hours of sleep. Um, but I would love to get eight. So I'm going to see if I can mix some things around next year, mix in with board studying. So we will see. In terms of my study schedule, I would study from like, let's say class ends at 12. I tried to watch them live. We had a thing called Media Site, or we have a thing called Media Site, where we can watch our lectures after the fact, and they're recorded. Um, so I personally would watch the lectures from 8 to 12. That's what I started out doing. Failure. So I learned that you will fail but you have to make the conscious effort to fail forward. So my school systems is, my school is systems-based uh, with the first block being foundations in medicine. Um, and then second block was musculoskeletal, third block was neuro, neurological and neuro, uh, fourth block was cardiopulm. And all I can say was that throughout the year, it has been an upward trend but I definitely made a lot of C's. And I went from having a 3.5 in undergrad um, to, I'm not even gonna say what it is now, but you know, we are, we are trying our hardest. Um, so in undergrad, I was used to making A's and B's with just some effort. You know, I would study quite frequently for like classes like physiology and anatomy, but classes like, I think I took a course called I don't remember what it was called. Humanism in Medicine, Preventive Med, I don't even remember the name. Um, but it's like those classes, I did not have to literally sacrifice so much just to make an A. And here it feels like an uphill battle. Okay. There have been times when I've made A's in medical school um, and that felt great. I don't even remember what I did differently. I mean, I think I started incorporating Anki but all I can say is that it's definitely a learning process and I had to change up my learning strategies. I used to um, just read the PowerPoints um, in undergrad and then first, and I would do some practice questions depending on the course, like if it was um, like a math course that I was taking like pre-calculus uh, or calculus that I took. Um, What's another class I had to do? Genetics, I took, did practice problems for. Um, in my like prerequisites, I would try to do some practice problems, biochemistry practice problems. Um, and when I got to med school, I was out of school for about a year. Uh, so that's not terribly long. It's certainly still like on the traditional medical pre-med track. Um, but I felt like I forgot how to study. How to study. This one I'm still figuring out. Um, so my strategies work for some of my classes, but I definitely have to tweak it to improve performance. So they're passing grades. Some of them are great. Some of them are, you know, all right. Okay, we can do, we can do that. Um, but I certainly changed up my strategies several times, 
and you will hear your friends say, oh, I study this way, or your classmate says, I study that way, but you are not everybody. You are you, so you have to find what works for you and stick with it. You can tweak it here and there, but do you, basically. Um, and so I ended up making study guides for um, some of the material, like let's say we were tested on 10 to 12 lectures. Um, I would read it through, make the study guide, read it through after I watched all my lectures. It took a lot of time. Um, but I added on practice questions. Watching lectures was maybe not the most effective way to learn. Um, watching them live, I mean, because I know people who watch them after the flag back two times speed and were succeeding. So um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that next year. I'll put a pin in that. Um, but I personally would not pull an all-nighter, never have, never will, refuse to do it. Um, I think sleep is so important. Um, yeah, and I always had to remind myself that I am running a marathon, not a race, not a, I mean, a marathon is a race, but I'm not running a sprint. So I had to do what was sustainable for me. And that meant prioritizing my sleep, prioritizing my time with my loved ones um, and doing things I still loved. Like I would go out to eat on the weekends. I'm definitely a foodie. I am thin. But I do love to try new foods, try new drinks, um, try something new that I saw on TikTok or whatever have you. Um, so yeah, and on the weekends, I was notorious for turning down a Friday night outing. And I'm telling you, med school students, they party, okay? They know how to party. Um, but I was definitely notorious for turning down a Friday night turn up so I could just get my eight hours of sleep because I was exhausted by the end of the week naturally so that would make sense um but i do wake up earlier now in comparison to undergrad um there was just no other way around not waking up early so um getting a good sleep habit was super important so i'd recommend sleep rest prioritize rest <laughs> um take breaks a lot of them use the pomodoro method if you have to where you study for 25 minutes, break for five, and so on and so forth, and then you get a long 15 minute break and start the cycle over again. Um, so I personally started doing that this week for finals and I think it worked past everything. So let's go. I literally was accepted off of the wait list at my school a week before classes started. So imagine the mad scramble. I would not have been able to do this without my parents uh, helping me move in, helping me get situated, get all this cute furniture. Look at this chair also. Yeah, totally got this pillow and I bought it before I even got the chair and it's shockingly matched. So yeah, um, I would have not been here without my supportive parents. They have been chef's kiss. Okay, um, <laughs> so what i'm saying is is that when i first moved in it was a mad scramble to just get my mind situated and not to make that as an excuse but i felt like i needed some more notice you know i was accepted to a caribbean school um first and i was initially going to go there but i spoke with my um brother's girlfriend and she's a do so we spoke about it and we spoke about the challenges of matching into residency. Um, so I chose the osteopathic school even though I had way less time to prepare. I already had some knickknacks from when I was like uh, going to go to the Caribbean school that I had purchased, um, but I didn't have everything. I didn't have any furniture because my housing was going to be paid for when I was there and I was, wasn't gonna have to buy anything except my bedding and whatnot. So here I had to purchase furniture. You are an individual. Remember that you are a human being. You need to eat, sleep, exercise, etc. Do whatever you need to do to be okay. If you find joy in eating out with friends, don't stop doing that. If you enjoy, if you find joy in running 5Ks, don't stop doing that. If you enjoy making skincare like I did, don't stop doing that. Do your crafts. 
Medicine will be a big part of your life, but remember that you are a multifaceted person. Only compare yourself to the person you were last week. I'm gonna say that one more time. Only compare yourself to the person that you were last week. This is your life. You are on your own journey. Um, so some closing remarks for the year. Um, I just wanna say that stay organized, um, figure out your time management, kind of watch your caffeine intake. It can get crazy. Please remember to eat, um, buy food services that like are pre-made. Um, I got this one at the Publix Deli. I can never remember the name. Make plans for your hobbies. Like even if it's something that's small on the weekend, do it because you're gonna be studying literally all day, every day, seven days a week for the next two, three, four years, whatever it is. <laughs> Um, med school is four years, but you're in the classroom for two and then doing clinical rotations for two. That's all for this video today. Um, I'll be back on here, hopefully with some new content, new videos for you guys. Um, I definitely want to share more of my medical school journey, uh, with you guys. And hopefully this video will inspire you and please let me know what you think in the comments below. Share it with your friends, share it with your pre-med friends.